Good morning. I'm Richard Rose, and I'm glad to have this chance to share the devotional with you. The passage today comes from Isaiah, chapter 43, and verse 18 reads, Remember not the former things of old. The writer of this devotion chose to focus on letting go, letting go of emotions which tend to destroy us and pull us down. And you read those ones she used. They were guilt, shame, anger, fear, cynicism, and hatred. I think we would all agree that emotions like that are non-productive. They can divide us, they can separate us, and more importantly, they prevent us from trying to do our part to serve God. I think all of us during this season would agree, thinking back on the past of things that we've done or shouldn't have done or things we want to not do again is very appropriate. But I also think it's important to look at the things that are good. This is Advent. Years ago, Advent was characterized by a time of fasting and prayer, things which we today typically don't do. Traditionally now, we view it as reflection, maybe, and renewal. So a time of reflection is good, and probably always good. This Advent, let's encourage each other to reflect on the many, many good things about the Church of the Advent family. As I was preparing some notes about what to say, uh, thoughts came to me were some of the very practices we have, and I picked out three. And one of those is going to be our uh, pastoral care. Most of you probably have served because we have over 100 volunteers that every year participate in one way or another. So if a parish member or family experiences misfortune, hospitalization, death, or any kind of difficulty, we respond. And we respond as a church family for our family. Another category I thought about was our outreach. Many of you might not be aware that we actually fund over 30 uh, entities in the community that do nonprofit and good deeds. And some of these which come to my mind are Total Ministries, St. Luke's Free Clinic, entities like that that you're aware of. And because of the outreach, we are touching lives in many ways. And two good things that I'm gonna mention about how do we get that funding come really from what I would call parish life. There are two particular events every year that have, I guess, created a lot of fun, a lot of energy, and created a lot of funds to help others. And those are our church bazaar. And every year, hundreds of hours are expended by so many people, whether they're polishing brass or silver or preparing food. It's a fun event and raises so much money. But the important thing is that we as a, a family group are doing it together. And the second one would be the oyster roast. We all enjoy that. I don't like oysters, but I love going to the oyster roast. And again, we have so many people helping in so many different ways. And the oyster roast with a silent auction raises money that we use to help others in so many ways. But the important thing about what I've just said is that we as a family, the parish family is the important thing. Let's reflect on that and remind each other how important our family unity is. Last year at this time, we had all participated in a campaign that we kind of affectionately called the Rock Campaign. It was designed to help us remember we had overcome the ravages of COVID and we wanted to do something that was special. So each parishioner was encouraged to take a stone, use devotions with it, bring it back, and then it would be used in some manner and we've just started that process. We have the bench, which has been built in Satterley Gardens. Hopefully, as the future unfolds, other improvements can be made to that beautiful site because that garden represents members of this parish family that have done so much in the past, but it's also a place where we could go either individually or collectively for meditation, for prayer, or for fellowship. But the important thing overall is a reminder that we, as a group, can do so many, many things.